I had been deferred for several years during the six years that I was in pharmacy school. So it was my time to uh, get drafted. So I ended up in the officer's basic training in San Antonio, Texas at Fort Sam Houston. They had been telling me since I, day one that you're gonna be on orders for Vietnam. That, that's your program, so I'll count on it. And um, then I finally got my orders for Vietnam. They told me that I was gonna be going to a province hospital in Quang Nai, and that it needed a lot of help it was a super hot place, it, and whether that referred only to the military action or whether it was just the uh, diseases, there was lots of uh, problems with communicable diseases. I had uh, learned to run the hospital with uh, organization, with medical supply, with patient record keeping, with uh, all kinds of things. We had a 440 bed hospital and uh, no electricity no running water, no lights. We had on an average daily load in our 440 bed hospital, probably around 2,000 patients. And many of those required surgery every day. It was kind of like practicing medicine in the 17th century, but uh, we didn't have much alternative. So we had to knuckle down and, and just learn how to do it. President Kennedy had already been assassinated and Robert Kennedy was in the Senate. I had a visit from Senator Ted Kennedy. Senator Kennedy came through looking to create some kind of a logging industry in the Long Nai province. We had lots of uh, mahogany and teak trees. We only needed a way to harvest them, get them to a sawmill, saw them up and make lumber out of them. So they came up with a plan to fly in an elephant. This was being taken seriously by people on the ground. Um, we assumed that uh, if Senator Kennedy sponsored it, that uh, there would be a reason for it. They put out the word that we were gonna have a big publicity campaign and publicize this event, the beginning of a new industry in Vietnam. and the elephant was successful in dragging some trees up to the saw blade, but the trees, it turns out, were full of shrapnel. The B-52s had been bombing those mountain regions for years, and the trees were so full of shrapnel that uh, they destroyed the saw blade every time you tried to run one through the saw. So the uh, experiment was, was kind of written off as a tremendous flop. I'd have to say the war impacted me. Well, it changed, uh, I guess, my whole outlook on life, what, what you can expect from other people. You learn when you're on a team in a third world country that you really do put your life in everybody else's hands or someone else's hands, your team members' hands. You really do depend on each other for survival. These personal Vietnam War stories are made possible by these sponsors.